Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Kim Kardashian inspired tutorial. One of my very first videos was a Kim Kardashian look, so I thought that it was time to upgrade and do a new one. So I went to Instagram and I posted three pictures of makeup looks from her, and I had you guys vote, and this one got the most votes. So I just love this look. So thank you for you guys for voting for this. It's just right up my alley. It's just really healthy looking skin. It's really glowy and highlighted. And it's just paired with a kind of blown out dark brown smoky eye, which you guys know I love. So I just love this look. And someone had a really great idea to do kind of a little series on those looks. So I will be incorporating the other two if you wanted to see those on my channel at some point. But if you like to see how I got this one, then go ahead and stick around. Thanks guys. I've already filled my brows with my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning and now I'm just taking this Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Tough as Taupe, just applying this with my ring finger all over the lid as my base for the shadows. For eyeshadow, I'm using a mix of the two Lorac Pro palettes. So I'm first going in with Taupe from the Lorac Pro 1 palette and a Sigma E40 brush, just brushing this back and forth throughout the crease as our transition shade. To add some more definition to the crease, I'm going in with a Sigma E35 brush in the shade Sable from the same palette, just brushing this right in the socket and I'm making sure that I do it just as evenly on the inner corner as I do the outer corner because this is such a blown out look. In the photo, it looked like Kim had a dark brown all over her lid that was really shimmery. So I went into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and picked up Coco. It's such a gorgeous deep brown color with gold flecks in it. So I'm just packing this all over the lid. Now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and going around all those edges and making sure that everything is nice and blended and looks really soft. It didn't look like Kim had too much going on as far as eyeliner, but I did want to thicken up my lash line because she does have such gorgeous lashes. So I'm going in with an LA Girl Gel Glide Eyeliner in the shade Black, just going as close to my natural lash line as possible just to fill in those gaps. Because this eye look is so soft and blown out, I did not want that eyeliner to look harsh, so I'm going in with a Sigma Flat Definer brush and just buffing over it and making it look really soft. Kim's lashes also looked more on the natural side, so I am adding a ton of mascara to my natural lashes because they're pretty wimpy. And then I added a pair of Ardell Demi Wispy lashes, and now we are on to the most important part of this look, which is the skin. I'm using my favorite foundation and I just mixed in a pump of the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illuminator. This is such a gorgeous product. It just makes your skin look so glowing. So I'm just applying that all over my face and buffing that in with a beauty blender. Kim and I both love a good under eye highlight. So I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear in NW15 and applying just a little bit more than I usually do because hers was so highlighted. I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and then going over that with the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose just to cancel out those tones that I have. And then I'm blending everything out with my Beauty Blender as always. the rest of my face I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and I went on my chin, my cupid's bow, the center of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and around the sides of my mouth. Then I'm also going right under where I'm going to have my contour. It's really going to make that stand out. And for my contour I'm using my Sonia Kashuk cream bronzer. I love this cream bronzer and I'm just applying it to all the places that I would normally contour just on the hollows of my cheeks, the sides of my chin and a little bit on the sides of my nose and then my temples. I'm also using my beauty blender to blend all of this out. Just make sure that you blend out your concealer first and then go in and blend out your contour because you don't want to dilute that highlight. So always do that step first and you'll be good to go. I'm just taking a little bit of translucent powder and setting the center of my face because my foundation tends to break up there so badly. And then I'm setting my under eyes with a tapered highlighter from Sigma and my MAC Pro Emphasizing Powder to make sure that that area stays nice and light. 
Now I'm going in with my Benefit Hula, just setting all of that contour that we did earlier. So go over all the places that you applied your cream contour, and I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush for this, just going in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, and then on the sides of my chin, and bringing that down on my jawline. For blush, I'm using a Makeup Geek blush, and this is in the shade Romance. I absolutely love this blush, and I feel like it was perfect for this look. Kim's face had a ton of highlight, and it all had a really pretty gold undertone. So of course, I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's one of my favorites. So I applied a little bit to the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then hit the tops of my cheeks. And later on, once we get lip products on, we'll highlight that Cupid's bow. To finish up the lower lash line, I'm first going in with espresso and a flat definer brush and I am just going as close to that bottom lash line as possible, just buffing this back and forth from outer corner to inner corner. Kim's lower lash line was really smoked out, so of course I'm going to too. I love a smoked out lower lash line. I'm going in with sable and a pencil brush, and just buffing that back and forth and dragging that espresso down a little bit further. I'm applying that same LA Girl liner to the waterline. I seriously love this. It does not budge on my watery eyes. And then I added a few coats of mascara to my bottom lashes to really make the eyes open up. And I'm going in to highlight. Her highlight looked like it was a little bit more on the beige side. So I'm going in with Rosé from my Lorac Pro 2 palette and doing the inner corners of my eyes and also my brow bone. The lip combo that I talked about in my September favorites video is perfect for this look. They are all from Gerard Cosmetics and I'm using 1995 first. Then I go in and apply a layer of nude just to lighten it up a little bit. And for a nice glossy finish, I'm going in with the nude lip gloss. And once you've got that on, take your Mary Luminizer and highlight your cupid's bow to really make your lips stand out. Once you have that done, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!